Today, you, you had an interesting day taking a look at some documents uh, that the FBI had prior to you getting a look at them. Did you find anything particularly interesting about these documents that Hillary provided the FBI? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, keep in mind, one notebook were the classified emails that she uh, handled so negligently. The other notebook are the witness interviews, the summaries, what, what we call 302s. My number one takeaway, Megan, is there's no reason in the world you could not and should not be able to look at the same witness interviews that I had to go to Washington and look at, at a in a classified setting. You and your viewers should be able to read summaries of these witness interviews. Mm -hmm. The second takeaway is a lot of the FBI's time and attention was spent debunking and refuting these fantastically false statements that Secretary Clinton made at the inception of this email story. And the third takeaway, remember, Director Comey said that he could not indict, did not have a realistic uh, probability of a successful prosecution on the issue of intent. So I look to see what witnesses were questioned on the issue of intent, including her, uh, and I didn't see that many questions. Let's go back to uh, number two. Issue. Let's go back to the second point, which is how much time they had to spend debunking what you say were lies or falsehoods that she told. What, what do you mean by that? Oh, even I mean even something as as seemingly innocuous as us referring to Sidney Blumenthal as her advisor. Remember, she got really upset when we use that term. You'll never guess which term the FBI used when they described Sidney Blumenthal and his relationship to her. He was interviewed. Uh, I think you would find very interesting uh, what Colin Powell had to say, uh, and juxtapose that with what Clinton supporters have said over the last 48 hours. You, you go back, the multiple devices, how many phones she had, the very reason she set it up, all of that proved to be fantastically I, And I want to ask you, I want to ask you this. So she also, of course, claimed that um, she never sent or received classified information. We now know that that's not true. I know you thought it might be interesting if the American people could see who sent some of the emails that she received with the classified information. What do you mean by that? Why would that be so interesting? Uh, well, right now, uh, even Congress can't see the identities of them. They are so classified that even a congressman in a skiff with no telephone, no iPad, no notes, cannot even see who the author or the originator of that email string was. That is how classified that information was that she was handling on a non-secure server. Mm -hmm. So you, Sidney Blumenthal is one author. Of course, you know Cheryl Mills and Uma Abedin and and Jake Sullivan, but there are even some originators that even members of Congress cannot see the identity of them because of the nature of the information.